he knew the legal ramifications for lying and um, anything that is defamatory or someone that actually goes on record and says you are this, this, and this, and you are not, and they are literally lying, there of course are legal ramifications. Hey, what is up you guys? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. And in this video, I want to talk about one of the messiest dramas that has ever happened on YouTube. Why have y'all told me this about him once again? And then y'all try to be like his friends because now he has tea on this one person that y'all hate. Like I'm just confused. So I'm like, but now you're like, oh no, me and Manny are good. But weren't you just saying that he tried to end your career and now you're good and now you're coming. I'm just, why? Like, <laughs> So this video is going to be a retelling of a drama that has happened. However, with the news that came out today, I do have a new update. So if you are here for that, stay tuned to this video. Okay, so before we get into this, we need to address this recent eclipse that we had here in America, because apparently all the people on TikTok, all the conspiracy theorists believe that the world was going to end. This is what like our 27th rapture and our 557,000th time having the world end. Anyway, I digress. But recently with TikTok, it's become a really big thing with these doom and gloomers, these fear mongers. They use things like birth charts and different things to come up with this amalgamation of conspiracy theories, and they never come to fruition. So there's been a whole discourse started over on TikTok about religious psychosis. And this heavily pertains to what we're going to be talking about in this video. So I want to define what religious psychosis actually is before we get into it. Religious psychosis. It's when someone's religious beliefs become extreme, causing problems in daily life. Common in mental health conditions like schizophrenia. Symptoms include feeling persecuted because of religion or believing they're controlled by spiritual forces. Not all strong religious beliefs are psychosis. It depends on how much they disrupt life. Treatment can be tricky due to a person's strong belief in their delusions. So before we even get into this, I am not diagnosing anyone. I am just pointing out things, okay? Because there is a lot of people that really thought that the world was going to end. And I know that you're all wondering, like, what does Jeffree Star have to do with this eclipse? These people talking about it on TikTok. Well, you'll see. And there was a TikTok that came up about this astrology influencer. Shocking new details about why a woman may have allegedly her partner and baby. According to a new report from the LA Times, Danielle Johnson was an influencer with 100,000 followers on X, formerly Twitter, who mostly talked about astrology online. The report goes on to say she made posts saying she was worried about the eclipse and called it, quote, the epitome of spiritual warfare. In the hours before the eclipse, police say she stabbed her partner to death in their Woodland Hills apartment, then pushed her two daughters out of her car on the 405 freeway. The nine-year-old child survived. Minutes later, Johnson died when she slammed her car into a tree in Redondo Beach. So imagine my shock when I was sent this tweet by Thomas Halbert. This is also the woman who convinced me to make the video about Jeffree Star. My head is so hot right now. So this instantly got me thinking about what video is it that Thomas is talking about that he made about Jeffree Star? And then I instantly remembered. How did we all forget that Thomas Halbert also worked with Manny M.U.A. as well as Laura Lee to get information on Jeffree Star, which ended up with Thomas Halbert getting raked across the coals, and rightfully so. And you know what? I'll probably get a lot of backlash from his fans for making this video. I just do not care. Save it for somebody that gives a fuck. But this ended up being one of the messiest, messiest dramas where Jeffree Star exposed voice memos and phone calls from Thomas Halbert. And then Thomas Halbert ended up admitting how Manny MUA and Laura were using him for information on the inside. Like when Thomas Halbert went to Jeffree Star's house and they had that whole talk about merch that never ended up coming to fruition. And this is the very reason why I always question why people watch Manny MUA and they think he's relatable, as well as Laura. Like Laura posted a video today buying Kylie Jenner's 2000 thousand dollar shoes that isn't even relatable content and it's this very reason right here why I always question Laura Lee and Manny MUA they like to act as if they're these do-gooders that they're out here just saving the world one pallet at a time when that's just not true if you remember this drama it was heated Jeffree Star posted a really long snapchat addressing Thomas as well as Laura and I believe Manny MUA where he alleged that maybe Thomas was sending Manny MUA information as well as Laura and this was also confirmed by Gabriel Zamora and his original Snapchat post. And I'm like, what do you mean now y'all see what kind of person he is? I remember in Ibiza, they were telling me how you were all up on their- Now you guys know that I would be the first person to call out Jeffree Star if he was in the wrong. 
But in this situation, he wasn't. I'm gonna spare you guys the entire Snapchat story of him dragging them and just get to the pertinent parts. Now, two days ago, the YouTuber Thomas Halbert, which if you don't know who that is, I know a lot of you are probably like, who? I know, he uploaded a video where he insinuated some very big accusations about me. Now, he didn't have the guts to say my name. He knew the legal ramifications for lying and um, anything that is defamatory or someone that actually goes on record and says, you are this, this, and this, and you are not, and they are literally lying, there of course are legal ramifications. You are affecting someone else's life. So here's what's going on. Now, Thomas made a very big accusation against me. Um, people always want, pull out the receipts, girl. I uploaded text messages. I uploaded audio voice notes. Um, this person is disturbed. There's a lot going on there. And he tried to bring me into the trenches of his misery for personal gain. And um, honey, that's not going to happen. Now, he makes the accusation, you guys, that when he came over, now we've only met once, we met two months ago for the first time ever, for two hours at my house. Now, he asked me about my past, he asked me about things I'd said in the past, about racism, about allegations, about the beauty community, and I was very candid with him. I was very upfront, very truthful, very brutally honest, um, and I answered all of his questions. When he left my house, we saw each other a few weeks later. Now in his video, he said that when he left my house, he was so bothered, he was disturbed. He said that I said a racial slur in front of him. After everything I've been through, after my past, after everything that I have, like, I literally sat there and I'm like, I gave you business advice. We talked about your failed merch line. We talked about your channel. He asked me real business advice on YouTube, makeup, everything. And because he couldn't get what he wanted out of me, he flipped it and chose a subject that he knew was going to get a lot of attention because it's sensitive. And he made up a full, full story to try to harm me. And I'm like, you also asked to film two videos with me for YouTube, for your personal gain, of course. Um, I declined to work with you on that as well. So no merch line, no YouTube collabs, and all of a sudden I'm the racist. Got it. So last thought, Thomas, you are a f liar. I don't know why, I mean, we do know why you're doing this, but I don't know why at the core of your being, you want to make up a full lie about me. Get on camera, let the world know it was all fake, and apologize because you are not a good person. And people like you are why I don't trust anyone. You were trying to fish for information on my ex-friends to hurt them, and then you're texting them at the same damn time on my couch? My brain, like... I can't fathom the stupidity. Now, this is not me in any way defending Jeffree Star because he has his own bag of shit that he carries around. But in this situation, he was right. And it's so bizarre to me that we just so quickly forgive Manny Emue and Laura. This was the perfect example of what kind of people they are. Like, literally imagine being friends with someone, that friendship ending, and then them getting someone to go hang out and send them information about what you're doing, how your business is going, all these different things. But now, in 2024, we find out that this person that ended up running their car into a tree, this person helped influence all of this drama that I had totally and completely forgotten about. But I'm glad I was reminded because now I know why I don't like Manny Emue and Laura. But I want to know what you guys think about this. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. If you made it this far in this video, don't forget to like it. And let's do the clown emoji down below. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. I have a long form video coming very soon. I hope it's something that you guys are all interested in because I've put a lot of time and effort into it. But with that said, I hope you guys all have an amazing day and I I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.